The question says, given a 1.5 microfarad capacitor, a 7 microfarad capacitor, and an 18 volt battery, find the charge on each capacitor if you connect them in the following way. So it wants to know the charge on the capacitors if they're connected in a series, and a charge if they're connected in parallel. Now this uh, problem, the way it's set up, already gives you a clue. In a series, so in a series, Q1 equals Q2. In parallel, uh, the total charge is equal to Q1 plus Q2. So it's kind of the inverse relation that uh, parallel and series have. So in, also in a series, uh, in a series, if you had V, uh, a V, the delta V of the battery would equal the voltage across number one plus the voltage across capacitor two, on and on and on. Whereas in parallel the voltage at the battery is equal to the voltage 1 is equal to the voltage 2 dot dot dot. Now the, the last relationship between parallel and series in a series the capacitance in, in farads so in a series the 1 over the CEQ or the equivalent capacitance of the whole thing is equal to 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2 and so, and then in a parallel, uh, C E Q, the the capacitance of the whole thing is equal to C one plus C two. So it's an inverse relationship. So in order to to calculate the charge, so to order to calculate the charge in a series, so the the so in a series, so the charge is the 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 capacitance is equal to the charge over over the change of voltage. So I could find the, the if I know the capacitance and multiply it by delta V, I get the charge. And so capacitance, I told, like I said just a second ago, we know delta V is already tells us that it's, uh, that it's a 18 volt battery, so that's going to give us delta V. Uh, but, so one other thing, keep in mind we're not doing the chart, we're not doing the capacitance of any given capacitor. We're doing the the total capacitance. So we could say we could say C E Q for part A. So C times the to the the equivalent total capacitance times the equivalent total uh, change in voltage is equal to the total charge on each uh, the the equivalent charge. And since the equivalent charge is equal to each of the other individual charges we can just uh, solve this the easy way. So to find the, the capacitance, so capacitance is going to be equal to is going to be equal to 1 over 1 over C1 which is 1.5 so 1 over 1 point, 1.5 plus 1 over 7 all of that to the negative 1 power. So I'm taking all of this in the parentheses and then I'm taking the negative one power of that, or the inverse of that, to get my capacitance. And you should get 1.235 microcoulombs, or I'm sorry, microfarads. And so then you can just take that times the voltage, C times delta V, and whenever you take that times the voltage, you should get something like the charge is 22.235 uh, micro coulombs. And so you just put that in here as 22.235. So part two is actually a little bit easier because we have this property that, that delta V, the total delta V is equal to delta V on each of the capacitors. So we're already given the the capacitance so we can take the capacitance of 1.5 times delta v and we which is 1.5 times 18 you should get uh 27 and then you could take 7 times 18 and you should get uh 126 so this should be 7 microcoulombs this should be 126 microcoulombs. And I'm sorry, not 7, 27. So we got 27. Alright guys, thanks for watching. All I ask is if you know somebody that could use these, make sure you email them a link or share it on Facebook. 
Give me some uh, like love down at the bottom if you're watching this on YouTube. If you're watching this on my blog and you have any questions, again, leave the questions down in the comments and I'll let you know what I can uh, figure it out as soon as I get a chance.